You are my friend in need. You are my friend in need. You are my God. You are my God. Let's sing all together. And I will worship you with all of my heart. Yes, Lord. I will sing your praise all through my life. I will serve you, Lord, with all that I have. आपकी और आपके परिवार में बहुतायात आशीष करने जा रहा है टुडे द लॉर्ड इज गोइंग टू ब्लेस यू एंड योर फैमिली प्रभु की ओर दृष्टि लगाओ फोकस ऑन द लॉर्ड पुट योर आईज ऑन एट हिम क्योंकि प्रभु भला है बिकॉज़ द लॉर्ड इज गुड चक्कर देखो कि प्रभु कितना भला है टेस्ट एंड सी हाउ गुड द लॉर्ड इज अपने दोनों हाथों को स्वर्ग की ओर बढ़ाते हैं Stretch out your hands towards the Lord. और प्रभु से कहिए प्रभु मैं यहाँ हूँ ही आए हैं. And tell the Lord, yes Lord, here I am. मैं हूँ यहाँ प्रभु मैं हूँ यहाँ in your divine mercy Lord I know you are a merciful God You don't keep a record of my sins of my wrongs I believe Lord that in your mercy you forgive all my sin I believe Lord today is the day of my blessing Oh Jesus I trust in thee Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again my dear brothers and sisters a warm welcome to each one of you. 
wishing each one of you and your dear ones, your loved ones, your family, your friends, a very happy feast of the divine mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. I know many of you have the devotion for his divine mercy. Yes, he is a merciful God. And that is why we hope in him, although we are sinners. Amen. Let's not only have a devotion for his divine mercy. Let's not only recite the novenas, but also firmly trust in his divine mercy for you and your family. Amen. Believe today is the day of your blessing. Believe today is the day of your healing. Believe today is the day of your miracles. Believe the Lord is going to open a new door for you today. Believe that you are going to experience or you're going to have a life-changing experience today. Amen. Hallelujah. Just as yesterday, one young sister wrote to me that she wants to come close to Jesus. Yes. May that be a desire in each one of you to come close to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please sit with your Bible, your notebook and your pen. Sit with your rosaries as we recite the Divine Mercy Chaplet today. As this Sunday is dedicated for the, to the Divine Mercy Devotion. Actually, mercy is the compassion, the mercy the Lord has shown for each one of us. And that is why today we can stand in his presence because he has forgiven us in his mercy. Amen. As Catholics, we celebrate this as a devotion this Sunday. But as I told you, let us go beyond this Sunday. Let us go beyond just the Divine Mercy Novena Chaplet. As you know, as you focus on the Lord, the rest of all the things will be added unto you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily prayer and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All together, I believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and for those of the whole world. In this decade, my dear brothers and sisters, let's ask the Lord to shower his mercy upon us today and always. May he envelop us 
May he forgive us. Yes, he has forgiven us. May, and let us ask the Lord his mercy and grace so that we may always trust in his divine mercy. Many a times we are discouraged. We feel hopeless. We ask, where is God? We forget to fail. Uh, we forget to trust in his mercy. But today, let's ask the Lord to look down upon us with mercy and give us the grace to come more and more closer to him each day, each moment of our life. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Forever he will be the lamb upon the throne. But I'll gladly bow my knee. Yes, Lord. And worship him alone. Eternal Father. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son and our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and for the sins of the whole world. In this second, my dear brothers and sisters, let's pray for the whole world. Once again, the world is helpless not knowing what to do, how to handle, where are the jobs. So many people are loved and dear ones infected by the COVID-19. Many, many filled with fear. Many have lost their dear ones. Many have become homeless, lost their jobs. The students are children thrown into a confusion. Ask the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Ask the Lord for his mercy for each one of us and upon the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Jesus, I need you every moment. I need you here now. This grace brought us. 
heart sing out your praise forever. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son and our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and for the sins of the whole world. In this decade, my dear brothers and sisters, let's pray for all our young children. This new COVID-19 attacking many children below 18 years, below 10 years. Ask the Lord to have mercy upon us. Ask the Lord to wipe away this deadly virus. Ask the Lord to protect our children. Cry out to the Lord. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his in his time in his time To give you the grace to know, to realize that the Lord makes all things beautiful in his time. Ask the Lord to give you the grace to wait upon him patiently. Because he is a merciful God. He is a just God. He is a righteous God. And he is a merciful God. He makes all things beautiful in his time. Today, as we have gathered in his presence, let's ask the Lord to give us the grace to be firm in our faith, not to be like doubting Thomas, but to trust in his divine mercy 100%. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Lord have mercy on your children gathered here Lord have mercy on your children gathered here we confess we have sinned in our thoughts, words, and deeds. Lord, have mercy on your children gathered here. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son and our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for the sins, for our sins and for the sins of the whole world. In this decade, my dear brothers and sisters, ask the Lord to fill you with his Holy Spirit. Pray that you may receive a mighty anointing today. Pray for Brother Mario and his ministry, his team. Pray for the church and all the church elders that the Lord May give them a mighty anointing to lead his flock, to save souls for his glory. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. World. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy the Mighty One, Holy the Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy the Mighty One, Holy the Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy the Mighty One, Holy the Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. I'll sing praises to your name. Oh Lord, praises to your name, Jesus, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I give glory to your name. I give glory to your name.
Yes, Lord. Your name is greatly to be praised because you are king now and forever. You reign now and forever. You live now and forever. Amen. Let's give a mighty hand to the Lord. Amen. From wherever you are, a little more louder. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Quickly share the link to as many people as possible. Be a channel of blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So once again, a very warm welcome to those who have joined in late. Amen. Today we received a, a very beautiful message. I think it was yesterday. Brother Mario received a message with a testimony how Brother Mario's retreats have helped her to come more and more close to the Lord. You will know today that this is what God needs of you. Your desire to know Him. Your desire to come closer to Him. Your desire to love Him will bring blessings for you today in this life for you and your dear ones as well as for eternal happiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Quickly open your Bibles to Psalm 16. Quickly open your Bibles to Psalm 16. A prayer of confidence. And with confidence, you can say it along, read it along with Rhyma. Yes, confidence in the Lord. Amen. Confidence in His divine mercy. Protect me, O oh God. I trust you for safety. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. All the good things I have come from you. How excellent are the Lord's faithful people. My greatest pleasure is to be with them. Those who rush to other gods bring many troubles on themselves. I will not take part in their sacrifices. I will not worship their gods. You, Lord, are all I have, and you give me all I need. Amen. My future is in your hands. Yes. How wonderful are your gifts to me. How good they are. I praise the Lord because he guides me. And in the night, my conscience warms me. I'm always aware of the Lord's presence. He is near and nothing can shake me. And so I am thankful and glad. And I feel completely secure because you protect me from the power of death. I have served you faithfully and you will not abandon me to the world of the dead. You will show me the path that leads to life. Your presence fills me with joy and brings me pleasure forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A beautiful word of God. See the Lord, the word says, this is David says, You Lord are all I have and you give me all I need and my future is in your hands. How wonderful are your gifts to me. How good they are. See, he says, Lord, you are all that I have. Many times we say, I have a home. I have a big bank balance. I have a big car. I have so many children. And I have this and I have that. But to acknowledge, see, David says, Lord, you are all that I have. And because you are all that I have, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, provides everything for us. Amen. Hallelujah. And he accepts that whatever he has are God's gifts to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So once again, give a mighty hand to Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes. Just focus on the Lord. Thank the Lord for the so many gifts he has given you. He has given you a family. He has given you wonderful parents. He has 
placed you in a beautiful home. He has given you your heart's desire. He has given you education. He has given you brothers and sisters. He has given you children. He has given you a shelter above your head. He has provided for you all the three meals in a day. He has kept you alive. He has protect you, protected you in the most difficult of circumstances. And above all, he has filled you with his Holy Spirit. Just thank the Lord. As we sing, as it leads us into worship, just close your eyes and raise your hands and join him in worshiping our Lord. i 
Let's give a mighty hand to the Lord for that. Let's give a mighty hand for His glory. Thanking Him, loving Him. Express your love for Him through your claps, through your worship, through your praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Once again, a very warm welcome. And once again, a very happy feast. Amen. Today is a joyful day. Today and always. Amen. As St. Paul says, we have to be thankful, joyful, rejoicing all the time. Not only today, not only during these two and a half hours, but now, today, and always. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, yes, is the Feast of the Divine Mercy. But today we speak about the power of resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah. After the resurrection comes the divine mercy feast. Amen. After Easter comes the divine mercy feast. Amen. And this Easter, this resurrection of Jesus Christ is upon it is based our religion. Because if he had not reason, there's nothing would have been there. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So today, we speak about the power of resurrection. How that power, how you have that power within you. Amen. But how to access it? Access it. How to receive it? How to activate it? You have it. You have received it. But how to activate it? 
and what what have you got to that power? Why has there been resurrection? Amen. Hallelujah. Unless you know that, you cannot receive those benefits because you don't know to activate it. Amen. For example, many a times, many of your apps are already there in the in your mobile, in your cell phone. But you don't know how to use it. You don't receive the benefits. You don't know the benefits. You don't know how to edit certain things. Although the app is already there, because you don't know you have it in your mobile, you don't know how to access it. And that is why you are away from receiving whatever benefits are there in the app. Amen. The Lord has placed within you a strong power. That is, there has been a purpose for God's, for, for the suffering of Christ and for his resurrection. Amen. It is very easy to celebrate the feast and you forget about it. As Brother Mario was telling you, uh, I think it was the last time we meet after two weeks, missed you all actually. Amen. Happy connecting with you even though it is virtual. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, very often we celebrate them as annual events. They are not annual events. They are meant to be celebrated every day. Amen. Hallelujah. So what is the purpose for which Christ rose from the dead? Why did he have to rise from the dead? Amen. Please open your Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 17 to 19. I hope you are also sitting with your notebooks. Amen. I'll read it out for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 17 to 19. And if Christ had not been raised, then your faith is a delusion and you are still lost in sins. It would also mean that the believers in Christ who have died are lost. If our hope in Christ is good for this life only and no more, then we deserve more pity than anyone else in all the world. Beautiful scripture. Once again, let us read it. And if Christ has not been raised, then your faith is a delusion and you are still lost in your sins. And it would also mean that believers in Christ who have died are lost. If our hope in Christ is good for this life only and no more, then we deserve more pity than anyone else in the world. My dear brothers and sisters, you need to know the purpose and the power of resurrection. And only then can you receive those benefits, can you access those benefits, not only in this life, not only for your material needs and desires, not only for these worldly pleasures and worldly needs, but also for you to receive eternal happiness now, not only now, but forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, Paul wants us. He wants to know Christ. You get it in Philippians chapter 3, verse 4 to 11. Philippians chapter 3. Please open your Bibles to Philippians chapter 3, verse 4 to 11. But I read verse 10 only for you. All I want is to know Christ and to experience the power of his resurrection, to share in his sufferings and become like him in his death, in the hope that I myself will be raised from death to life. See, he says, all I want to know is, Christ, is to know Christ 
and to experience the power of resurrection to share in his sufferings. See, he doesn't say, I want to receive the power of resurrection. He says, I want to experience the power of resurrection. The meaning is the power of resurrection is already there in you and me. Amen. He says, I want to experience that. I want to know that. And you will know how important it is. What is it that actually God wants of you? Is it that he needs devotion from you? Is it that he wants sacrifices from you? No. Christ has given the ultimate sacrifice. What can you and I give to him? Amen. But what is that God really wants? Is it that he really needs only the recitation of the rosaries and the novenas? Is it that he only needs, uh, wants us to ask material needs and desires? Please open your Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. Jeremiah chapter 9. Quickly. See what the Lord says. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. The Lord says, wise men should not boast of their wisdom, nor strong men of their strength, nor rich men of their wealth. So my dear brothers and sisters, we cannot boast that we are very clever, intelligent, smart, wise. Not strong men, nor can you say that I am strong, I am able, I am beautiful, no. No rich men of their wealth. We can't say, I'm rich, I have this, I have that. What does God want us to boast about? You can read further. If anyone wants to boast, he should boast that he knows and understands me. Because my love is constant and I do what is just and right. These are the things that please me. I, the Lord, have spoken. So my dear brothers and sisters, see, th these are the things actually in the world that we boast of. Either our intelligence, our memory, our wisdom, our ability, our capability, our strength, our beauty, our talents, all our wealth, how rich we are, how prosperous we have been. But the Lord says, what I actually need is that you should know me. The Lord says, this is all that I want for you. This is all that I want from you, that you should know me. And what should you know about him? That his love endures forever. His love doesn't change. His love was the same yesterday, today and forever. Same time that he is a just God, that he judges everyone fairly and that he is always right. He is a righteous God. This is what God wants you to know from him. This is what God wants from you. Many of you have taken part in the nine day novena. What have you prayed for? And what has been the purpose? See, what does the Lord say? The Lord said, Do you, have you asked the Lord to give you the grace to know him more? Have you asked the Lord to show to you how, how much he loves you, how merciful he is, how just he is, how righteous he is? And have you tried to imitate him in these three qualities? Amen. Hallelujah. But for God, this is important. That without, see, without knowing Jesus, you can open your Bible to Gospel of John, seven, John 17, 3. John 17, 3. And eternal life means knowing you, the only true God, and knowing Jesus Christ whom you sent. So true life, eternal life is what? Unless you know Jesus, everything is useless. Unless you know the Lord, your creator, how loving he is, how just he is, everything is useless. Only when you know the Lord, that time you can say, 
I'm getting, I'm ready for eternal happiness. I'm ready to receive blessings now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So knowing him is more important than wealth, strength, and riches. It is more important than wisdom, intelligence, and knowledge. It is more important than you getting a job. It is more important than you getting a new car or a house. It is more important than your career, your children. It is more important than anything else that you should know God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So how are you going to come closer to him? How are you going to know him? How is that you are going to love him more? How? I can give you a few tips and I'm sure you know about them. One, listening to the preachings of God-fearing preachers. Those who are faithful to the word of God. Those who preach to you about the word of God. Those who preach to you straight from the Bible. Those who preach to you about the promises of the Lord. Not only the promises, but the truth. The truth about the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You should be reading the word of God every day. Trying to understand, asking the help of the Holy Spirit. To help you to understand his word. You should be listening to the testimonies to experience the power of God, to experience the love of God. When the Lord gives healing, when the Lord lifts you up, when the Lord touches you, when the Lord anoints you, it shows more than anything else how much He loves you. Amen? When the Lord called Brother Mario, who was a pundit before, more than a or above everything else, it showed how much the Lord loved him, that he called him to save him, to use him for his glory. Amen? Hallelujah. When uh, you are given testimonies, how we post testimonies on the Facebook or in the WhatsApp groups, it is to increase your faith so that you come to know the love of God more and more, so that you can experience, so that you can actuate the power of resurrection that is already present uh, in you, and to receive all those promises the Lord has in store for you. Amen? Hallelujah. We must go beyond, beyond our just devotion. We should work towards having a relationship with God. Spend more time in prayer. When you love someone, I'm sure you will all you all know this, especially the young ones who are watching. Or even, you know, when we love someone, we spend hours and hours talking, and the mobile has been mobile phone has become very handy. Amen. We speak hours and hours, we chat for hours and hours. And through our conversation, through our communication, we get to know them better and better. Same way it is with the Lord. When you keep speaking to the Lord, when you are talking to Him, there is a communication between you and Him. You come to know Him better and better and you can experience His love and you can activate the power in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your faith in Him. 100%. Let no storm shake you. No COVID-19 shake you. No coronavirus shake you. No joblessness shake you. Just be focused. I, 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 I'm quite sad, saddened at times, you know, when people write, my daughter is sick. My five-year-old daughter is sick. My eight-year-old son is sick. And my faith is shaken, brother. Please pray for me. Can one sickness shake your faith? Can one job loss shake your faith? Remember, when you doubt your hopelessness, that is a sin. Trust in his mercy. He died for you and me. Amen. Next, follow the word. Step out in faith. Having faith, as you learned it at the women's conference, just saying I have faith is not enough. Step out in faith. Have the confidence. Have faith in the Lord 100%. He will never leave you. 
if you believe in him, if you depend on him, if you trust in him. Because he has promised not to remember your sins. He has promised to wash your sins and make you clean as white as snow. He has promised to lift you up. Uh, he wants you to, be, to humble yourself and he says, I'm going to lift you up. He says, come close to me and I will come close to you. The Lord says, believe in me and you will be saved. The Lord has promised, though heaven and earth shall pass away, but his words, his promises shall not pass. Trust in him 100%. Amen. Hallelujah. The power of resurrection. See, as I told you, Paul doesn't ask to receive power of resurrection. The power of resurrection is in you. You have that power in you. Say thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He has, all the Christians have this power. And what is the power that you and I have received already? We have received the power of forgiveness. Through his suffering, through his death, the Lord has set us free from the clutches of sin. He has forgiven us and made us new. And with that, you and I have got that power of forgiveness to forgive others, those who have wronged us. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, today is the time. Today is the day. Forgive. You have got that power. God has given you that power. Activate it. You can forgive. Forgive the ones who have wronged you. Forgive your enemies and see how you are going to see his glory today. Decide right now that you, can, you are forgiving those persons who have wronged you. Forgive those persons who have spoken ill about you. Forgive those persons who have cheated you. Forgive those persons who have snatched those things from you. Forgive and you will see his glory. Amen? Next, you have received the power to conquer sin. You have received it, it says in Ephesians 4.24, you can read it later on. In Christ, we have become a new creation. The word tells us, in Christ, we have become a new creation. God has made you new. The old is gone. You are a new creation. You have forgiven. I'm sure you have. You have forgiven and you have become a new creation. You have got that power to conquer sin. Whatever it is, God has given you that power. Be, be victorious in Jesus' name. Do away from every sin and receive that victory. Live a victorious life because God has given you that power to conquer sin. Why do we sin? Because we do not know the power we have. Satan active, you know, when you have those bad habits, Satan is rejoicing. He uses you to those bad habits that you have. You can do away with those bad habits because God has given you that power to conquer sin. And I know you are doing it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Next, the power to be God's agent. This is in 2 Corinthians 5, 19, 20, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. The power is made perfect in your weakness. Yes, you may see, I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. I'm not talented enough. I'm not smart enough. But the word says, he, his power is made perfect in your weakness. Amen. So God has given you the power to be the light of the world. God has given you the power so that you may shine for his glory. Are you ready to be God's agent? Are you ready to spread the goodness of God everywhere so that people may look at you and give glory to God? Are you ready to shine like a star? Are you ready to be the light of the world? If yes, say, type, yes. I am the light of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't worry that you are not good enough. As the word says, his power is made perfect in our weakness. Amen. Next, the power to be conformed to be in his likeness. That says in 2 Corinthians 3.18. See the word says, 
you know the all the bad things that we have the lord has given you that power to do away from that to go away from that and to be like him because god has created you to be like him like his image in his image to be like him amen so god has given you the power to be conformed in his likeness are you ready to be like him are you ready to change yourself and be like him so that you can activate that power that is already within you amen so that you can receive that healing that job those blessings not only now not only in this life but now and forever amen and lastly the power to overcome the devil and his kingdom he has given you the power to be victorious he has given you the power to have victory to trample down lions and snakes he has given you the power to trample the satan under your feet do not be afraid tells the lord again and again because he has given you the power to shine to be the light of the world to trample down lions and snakes to trample the devil under your feet to say no to his lies because god has made you powerful Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. So you have the power to because you are forgiven, you have the power to forgive. You have the power to overcome sin. You have the power to be God's ambassadors. You have the power to be conformed in Christ likeness and you have the power to overcome Satan, to say no to sin, to trample him under your feet. Amen. Are you ready to receive the ever? Are you ready? I will say, are you ready to activate the power that is there within you, the power of resurrection? If yes, continue in faith without any doubt. Say yes to the Lord, and today you are going to see His glory in Jesus' name. Amen. of the world you step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that made this heart adore you hope of life spent with you some problem in your leg you stand with faith you will see the resurrection power will come in your body and you will be well 
you will able to walk your pain will go your lay pain will go with faith please stand ek bar fir se aaj ke is शक्तिशाली प्रार्थना में आप सबका स्वागत है सब लोग खड़े हो जाए और मैं विश्वास करता हूं कि परमेश्वर आज हर एक व्यक्ति को स्पर्श करने जा रहा है यदि आपको खड़े होने में तकलीफ है कोई परेशानी है इसी पर विश्वास के साथ खड़े हो जाओ आप अपने दर्द को मत देखिए आपके पैर में जो तकलीफ हो उसको मत देखिए प्रभु की उपस्थिति में प्रभु की आज्ञाओं का पालन करते हुए खड़े हो जाए सब लोग खड़े हो जाए और प्रार्थना करें विश्वास करें परमेश्वर का वो पुनरुत्थित पुनरुत्थान की शक्ति आपके शरीर में आपके सर से के बाल से पाओ के तलवे तक आपके शरीर में जो भी बीमारी है वो यीशु मसीह के पुनरुत्थान के सामर्थ्य के द्वारा हर बीमारी हर अंधकार की शक्ति हर तकलीफें आज आपको आपके परिवार को छोड़कर चला जाएगा ये के नाम में प्रभु को जोर से तारे बजाते धन्यवाद दीजिए टुडे बाय द रेजरेक्शन पावर यू विल बी हील यू एंड योर फैमिली विल बी डिलीवर कंप्लीटली बिकॉज देर इज पावर देर इज ग्रेट पावर There is great anointing today. Amen. You are going to meet Jesus. Amen. Remember what happened after resurrection. Jesus came to meet his disciples. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Today, Jesus is again is coming in your house. Jesus is coming. visiting your house jesus is going to walk in your house jesus is going to walk everywhere everywhere in your house and all your problems and your difficulties the fights which is taking place in your house there is no peace there is no unity among you the lord is going to take this discord the lord is going to take this problems from your house and you will be free in jesus name Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my dear brothers and sisters, today is your day. Today is the day of your blessings. Amen. Your prayers. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 So are you ready to worship the Lord? Amen. Amen. If yes, lift your hand and say Amen. Yes, I'm ready. If you are ready to worship the Lord, come on. Say yes, I'm ready. With a smiling face. Don't close your eyes right now. अपने आँखों को मत बंद कीजिए. Amen. Amen. यदि आप प्रभु की स्तुति करने के लिए, प्रभु की आराधना करने के लिए तैयार हैं, तो अपने हाथों को उठाकर के बोलिए हाँ, मैं तैयार हूँ. परमेश्वर की स्तुति, परमेश्वर की आराधना करने के लिए. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, if you are ready, lift your right hand, wave your hand, and say yes, I'm ready to worship the Lord. Amen. I am ready to thank Him. I am ready to praise Him. I am ready to give Him glory and honor and praise. Come on, with a joyful face. Amen. Amen. Hasti hui chehro ki saath mein. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you. Hallelujah. 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 So now, what do you have to do? You know, many times when we take part in worship, when we take in part in prayer. we are not ready sometimes somebody tells okay my parents tells to sit for prayer to watch brother marriage retreat oh that's the reason i am watching 
you don't sit forcefully amen. amen if you want god's blessing if you feel that i need god's blessing if you feel yes i need god's help if you feel i need his power then all leaves amen prayer is not a matter of somebody should force you no i always say i always tell every parent don't force your children amen, amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah every children should realize that without god you cannot do anything everyone you know without god jesus said in gospel of saint john that without me you cannot do anything amen amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe you will be, maybe you, you must be having business. You are a businessman, businesswoman. You are walking somewhere. Whatever you are doing, everywhere, every time, every moment, you need his power. You need his mercy. You need his grace. And without that, you will not be able to move ahead in your life. Amen? Amen. So if you want to come up in life, if you want God's blessing in your life, if you want financial blessings, if you want that everything should fall in place, if you want good health, my dear brothers and sisters, humble yourself in front of God. Humble yourself, whoever you can be. Amen. Amen. Either you are a preacher, either you are a brother or sisters, you are a minister, uh, ministers, whoever you are. Amen. Amen. Humble yourself in the presence of God. And the God will lift you up. The Lord says, the, the Peter, the Lord says in St. Peter, the humble yourself and God will lift you up. So are you ready to humble yourself? 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 Are Amen. From wherever you are watching, if you are watching, if you are sitting together, just all of you please stand. All of you please stand. And don't sit, don't stand together. Just keep a little gap. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So while you are, when you are worshiping, when you are praising, when you are thanking the Lord, nothing should uh, disturb you. You should not get distracted. Amen. Amen. Let your focus should be on God. Amen. Aapka dhyan jo is sir parmeshwar ki or hona chahiye aur kisi bhi chizo ki nahi. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, lift your both hands. Lift your both hands. Apne dono haathon ko upar uthaye. Apni aankhon ko band kijiye. Aap prabhu se kahiye, Yes, Lord. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you are my God, you are my Lord. I can feel already anointing is coming. I can feel that the power, resurrection power is coming upon many of you. The resurrection power is coming upon many of you. The resurrection power is coming upon many of you. I can see somebody is wearing the blue, blue color cloth, blue color cloth. If something is falling on your head, you can feel right. Blue color cloth. I am looking at Parmeshwar Ka Samarth. There is a person who is wearing the blue color clothes. Parmeshwar Ka Samarth is on you. Shanda Bakari Berele, Shia Raba Hala Barala. Shiki Raba Kari Berele, Shanda Bakari Berele, Shia Raba Hala Barala. Thank you, Jesus. Don't look at him there. Don't look at him there. Just worship him. Just worship him. Worship him. The power, the power. Oh. Somebody's spotlight is, is going right now. The Lord is healing. The Lord is taking your spotlights. Kisi bhakti hai jinko gardan mein taklif tha, aap gardan hila nahi sakte the. Parmeshwar ka samarth is samay aap par utar raha hai. Aapka spotlight is ja raha hai is samay. Ja raha hai is samay. The Lord is touching and healing you. Touch your neck, touch your neck, touch your neck. Just shake and see, look here and there. Just turn your neck and see, turn your neck and see. Don't move you from your place. Don't move from you wherever you are standing. Many of 
you are having shoulder problem, Lord is healing your shoulder. I can see somebody is having frozen shoulder. Lord is healing you right now. Lord is healing you right now. The resurrection power is coming upon your shoulder right now. Come on, those who have the shoulder pain, shoulder problem, lift your hand. Frozen shoulder, many years, you are not ready to lift your hand. You are not able to lift your hand. Lift your hand right now in Jesus' name. The resurrection power is coming in your shoulder right now. The power is coming upon you. Come on. Don't look around there. Experience his mighty power. Lord is healing you. Lord is healing you right now. Many things are happening. I can see many people's the power of you can feel some anointing, something is coming upon you, something is falling on you. The power of darkness is living from your house. Thank you. Power of darkness is living from your house. Don't worry, don't worry. 
don't worry whatever is happening to you my dear sister don't worry let it out koi chillate hain to chillane do somebody is shouting let it out screaming let it scream you don't touch don't touch because the bible says wherever the spirit of god is there there is freedom so right now the spirit of god is coming upon each one of you the power of god the power of god the power of god is coming upon each one of you amen the resurrection power resurrection power is coming upon each one of you so every darkness every evil power will come out from you amen and right now in jesus name thank you jesus thank you lord आंखों को बंद करो बिल्कुल आंखों को बंद करो कोई भी इधर उधर मत देखिए कोई भी इधर उधर मत देखिए यदि कोई गिरते हैं गिरने दीजिए रोते हैं रोने दीजिए चिल्लाते हैं चिल्लाने दीजिए आप मत छूए आप प्रभु की ओर ध्यान लगाइए क्योंकि इस समय पुनृत्य देश इस समय आपको अपने समर से भरने जा रहा है If you want, you can keep your both hand on your heart and pray and sing this song. Say this line: Fill me with your power. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. One more time. Fill me with your power. listen carefully when the power of god will come upon you when the resurrection power will come upon you whatever negativity is there inside you will come out how many of you want deliverance how many of you want deliverance from negativity deliverance from anger deliverance from jealousy hatred greed the spirit of gossip spirit of complaining spirit of fear if you want deliverance right now the moment when you will repeat this line the power of god will come upon you and the whatever the negative the evil things are there in you it will come out it will come out it will come out right now in jesus name it will come out is coming out is coming out coming out coming out in jesus name amen. in jesus name amen in jesus name amen in jesus name shanda pakhari be the sing fill me with your power oh lord 
live inside of me. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Just keep silent. Just keep silent. Don't speak anything. The power of God is coming upon you. You will feel that you are falling down. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because the God's power is powerful than any other power. Amen. Every negative power, negative things which is destroying your life is going out, going out, going out, going out, going out, going out, 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 out. Touch, touch, touch. Let's give mighty hand to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 How are you all? Are you happy in the Lord? Amen. Amen. Lord has touched many of you right now. Amen. Parmeshwar ne samay bahut saare logon ko spars kiya hai aur changai diya hai. So my इस समय जो लोग आप बैठने से पहले आप बैठने से पहले आप जांच कीजिए आपके शरीर में जहां पर भी दर्द जो तकलीफ था जांच कीजिए विश्वास के साथ में वो दर्द वो बीमारी आपके शरीर से चला गया है बिफोर सिटिंग आई लाइक टू टेल ईच वन ऑफ यू एग्जामिन योर सेल्फ wherever there was pain the sickness was there in your body the weakness was there in your body stiffness was there in your body right now before sitting you examine yourself with faith you are delivered you are healed you are set free from every sickness every negativity amen examine yourself hallelujah and then you can sit Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Please be seated. Sab log baith jaiye. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is it all sab log? Are you happy? Amen. Amen. And all those who are healed right now, I request you don't forget to share your testimony on my WhatsApp number. Not here. You don't need to send this. Share it here, right now. Amen. Amen. जिन लोगों को परमेश्वर ने इस समय स्पर्श किया है, चंगाई दिया है, किसी भी प्रकार का चंगाई क्यों न हो, मन की शांति शारीरिक चंगाई शारीरिक छुटकारा किसी भी प्रकार का चंगाई क्यों न हो यदि आपने महसूस किया है तो प्रार्थना के बाद में मेरा जो व्हाट्सएप नंबर है उस व्हाट्सएप नंबर पे अपना गवाही जरूर लिखें इमैन डोंट फॉरगेट टू शेयर योर टेस्ट मनी फॉर द ग्लोरी ऑफ गॉड ऑन माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope all those who are watching regularly, you must be knowing my WhatsApp number. Amen. I will I will say it right now. My WhatsApp number is seven five 
जीरो सेवन थ्री वन सिक्स एट जीरो सिक्स सेवन फाइव जीरो सेवन थ्री वन सिक्स एट जीरो सिक्स Amen. Amen. Let's give my hand to Jesus. Come on, once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ek baar phir se Yeshu ke liye taali bajaiye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful God we serve. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So I hope you are sitting with your Bible, notebook, and pen, and not forgetting your water bottle. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So once again those who are joined late, I uh, once again I welcome you. Amen. Amen. In, in today's retreat. Hallelujah. 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 And I believe the Lord is going to change your life today. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know Lord always have the condition you know until unless you allow him until unless you come close to him until unless you say yes lord i need you then you know see for what until unless you will you give permission to him amen hallelujah he will not do able to do anything hallelujah so you have to give him the permission amen you have to give him the permission to walk in your life amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise to jesus hallelujah hallelujah if you are sitting with your bible you can uh, take your bible and say i love my bible say i love my bible i love my bible amen amen hallelujah you know many things in today's world all other thing we love the things of the world we love under the sky everything we love but we don't love the bible we don't love the word of god amen when the time comes to hear the word of god we don't feel you know we we are we don't have the interest to hear the word of god amen without the word of god without the word there is nothing my dear brothers and sisters if you want blessings if you want deliverance if you want god to work in your life the word of god the word of god is jesus the word is jesus amen hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you master thank you master praise your master praise your master amen 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 hallelujah amen. so once again i will wish happy feast of divine mercy to each one of you Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know many of you must be saying the divine mercy. Many of you must be saying this divine mercy every day 3 o'clock. That's the reason you must be knowing those who are joining always this online retreat. We start our retreat with divine mercy. Amen. Amen. You know divine many many time comes now the divine mercy. What is divine mercy? Divine mercy it is not separate from the bible amen divine mercy ki jo prarthana hai wo bible se alag nahi hai amen it is in the bible it is the word of god what we are saying amen what we are repeating that is the word of god it is that is that word is there in the bible amen amen for the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world. If you read in the gospel, many, many people, many sick people, they came and they requested Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. Amen. Have mercy on me. And same way, when we are saying divine mercy, we are asking God's mercy upon us. So many times we will think, oh, it is not in the Bible. No, it is in the Bible. Amen. It's a simple prayer. It's a powerful prayer. Have mercy, Son of David, for the sake of His sorrowful passion. Passion means Jesus. Have mercy. Amen. Amen. On us and on the whole world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a powerful prayer. Amen. Amen. But many times we we don't know the meaning. just we have to say three o'clock you know we get up anyhow when we start saying we should whenever you say your prayer you should pray with 
pray with faith pray from your heart amen hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus can you open your bible please thank you master hallelujah hallelujah you must be knowing me last sunday there was no retreat and uh, it was easter sunday many people will send a message brother there is no retreat today we are missing today's retreat amen amen hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so philippians chapter 3 philippians chapter 3 verse 10 as sister read already you read the scripture philippians chapter 3 verse 10 i want you to listen carefully now amen, amen. now all those who have joined no comments now your focus should be on the word of god amen because i've seen many times um, there are many people they attend retreats many on the youtube channel many people they attend many many others retreats many ministries many you know their focus is not on the word of god they are they are not listening what the preachers are telling they are not they, their attention is not towards the word they keep on writing messages keep on chatting i have this problem that problem this problem i need this i need that i you know all their chats the thousands of chats will be for all the worldly things they are not attending retreat sometimes we i feel that people are writing you know how we write for the general store i want this i want that and the, some people feel happy in that okay i, I wrote and you know i wrote and i gave to dukan wala by done it is my work is done amen. amen don't don't keep on writing just you are giving some order list to your you know shopkeepers that i want this that's because your focus should be on the word of god amen amen hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. so this whatever your intention petition that's the reason i always say we, we start the retreat you know 255 not three o'clock 255 there are five minutes in the beginning we keep so that you can uh, uh, you can write your petition even before that also there is time for you we post the moment we post this uh, retreat banner on the youtube you can start writing your petitions amen, amen. and we'll pray so follow this way not during the retreat when you are listening to the word of god before as soon when we post this uh, banner in the whatsapp group on the youtube you start putting your petitions amen start writing your petitions amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah 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 yes philippians chapter 3 verse 10 all i want to know all i want is to know christ and to experience the power of his resurrection to share in his sufferings and become like him in his death in the hope that i myself will be raised from death to life amen hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. you know if i read in hindi bahut sare hamare bhai behan jo hindi mein bible padhte hain dhyan se suniye sant paulus yahan pe kya kehte hain main yah chahta hu ki masih ko jaan lu main yah chahta hu ki मसीह को जान लू एमैन हाल लोहिया ऑल आई वॉन्ट इज टू नो क्राइस्ट टू नो क्राइस्ट लिफ्ट हैंड एंड से to know Christ to know Christ to know Christ to know Christ hallelujah hallelujah today the problem is we don't know Christ amen hamari samasya hamari sabse bada takleef ye hai ki hum yesu ko nahi jante hain amen amen that is the biggest problem see what the saint paul is saying 
सैंपल कहता है कि मैं चाहता हूं कि मैं यीशु को जानू ऑल आई वॉन्ट इज टू नो क्राइस्ट ऑल एमैन ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू नो क्राइस्ट दैट इज माई मोटिव दैट आई वॉन्ट आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनीथिंग एल्स I don't want gold, silver, diamond, anything. I don't want house. I don't want a job. I don't want everything. Second, first, the first thing that I want to know, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you are ready? How many of you feel? that no i should know i want to know jesus i want to know i want to know more about jesus i want to know, i want to know more about jesus main yesu ke bare mein aur janu aur janu aur janu aur gehrai mein jaau i want to know i want to go deep and deep and deep in the lord amen in a minute i'm the problem is we know little we know little scripture from here from there and we try to cut and paste you know like a google what we do we cut we paste and we are we think that we know everything now and know if i know cutting and posting you know cutting from there posting there amen mm-hmm. so stop cutting and posting many times the people think you okay they take some scripture from the bible and they don't know and just keep on forwarding on the whatsapp keep on forwarding on the whatsapp or on whatsapp on facebook on social media they think oh they i did a very big job amen many time people they get some some message forward message they keep on forwarding that's the reason i tell those who all those who are in the my whatsapp group i always say no forwarding message Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You know, don't stop. Don't just when you uh, suppose you forward the some message from the Word of God. Don't think you okay. It is enough. I did my job. I did. I went for mass. I I heard mass on the television. I heard the brother Mary's retreat. Now that is enough. Now Jesus, see, I will meet you next Sunday. Ah, huh? bye bye bye, Jesus. Or next Thursday I will meet you for a women's conference. Those who are women. Amen. Amen. As you heard the resurrection power, as we celebrate last Sunday, we celebrated the Easter Sunday. You know, it is not the feast to celebrate just once in a year. If you are celebrating just, you are thinking celebrate just once in a year. Remember, you are missing something. You are missing something. Still, you don't know the power, the resurrection power. What is resurrection power? Still, you don't know. You know Easter Sunday, the power is, is, is resurrection power. You no know, reason, Lord. Resurrection power doesn't mean that on the Easter Sunday let's cook nicely. You know, cook good, good food. We may cook this and that and eat just to enjoy. You know, no, forty days not drunk. Come on, today is the day. Resurrection power. The Easter is the power we need every day. we we should celebrate every day in our life amen amen hallelujah are you ready to celebrate every day easter amen how you will celebrate every day easter listening is something different yes if you have the resurrection power in you if you are walking in the resurrection power every day you will feel the christ is real. want is to know Christ you know when i was a pandit when i was a pandit in 2004 and the lord called me 
by my name before that before lord called me i was a pandit as i told you i was a, i was having everything i don't wanted any material things then i i don't wanted anything from this world because whatever i needed for myself i was having when i heard the voice of jesus he called my name janki das it was in mumbai four bungalows and the rest afternoon time there was no one i looked around no one was there again i heard the voice the sharp voice the sweet voice janki das again i didn't see anyone third time the lord called my name janki das you go everywhere but why you are not coming to me i was not knowing anything about christ i was a pandit there was no relation christ and pandit i was not knowing him but he knew me he knew my name he knew everything about me where i am going what i am doing everything he knew about me. i will make it to sort when i came to christ i experienced his divine love after that i left everything whatever i was doing and i i was running and running and running for only one thing to know christ somebody used to say okay prayer meeting is there i used to go i used to go here i used to go somebody used to take me there here here uh, my aim was there i wanted just i wanted to know i wanted to know him know him know him that's it i don't want any healing i don't want any miracle i don't want any anything anything else from this world just i wanted to one thing i want to know mai yesu ko janna chahta hu yesu ke bare mein mujhe aur janna hai yesu ke bare mein mujhe aur padhna hai yesu ke yesu ke bare mein aur mujhe aage padhna hai that's it i want to know him i want to know him mujhe janna hai mujhe janna hai yesu ke bare mein janna hai that's it nothing else amen Amen. Amen. My situation was not good. When I accepted Christ, I lost everything. There was no money to eat, no home, nothing. Everything was gone. Everyone left me. I was on the road. No food, no shelter, no home. But only one thing I wanted. I was not not asking God. I was not asking Jesus give me home give me center no I was not asking Jesus give me money no I was not asking Jesus give me something something else no I was asking Jesus only one thing only one thing I want to know you more about you I want to know more about you I want to know more about you I want to know more about you that's it Sir Jesus ko janna tha mujhe Jesus mein padhna tha यीशु के प्यार को अनुभव करना था मेरे अपने जीवन में आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस हिज लाफ आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस हिज पावर आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस हिज ग्रेस आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस हिज मासी आई वॉन्ट टू नो हिम आई वॉन्ट टू फील माई सेल्फ विथ हिज विस्टम नॉलेज एंड ग्रेस थैंक यू जीस माई डियर ब्रादर्स एंड सिस्टर्स I was a pundit. 
Amen. Amen. I went through many things, many hardship. You know, as I told you today, putting all your problems, your difficulties, your wants, your needs, keeping one side. Are you ready to say that all I want is to know Christ? Amen. 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 All of you, please stand. All of you, please stand. Tell him. All I want is to know Christ. Whoever you are, as I told you, today our prayer, our prayer is become a matter of wants and needs. Wants and needs. Wants. I will not say need. Wants. I want more. I want more. I want more. I, if it is there, one BHK house is there, I want two BHK. Small car is there, I want bigger car. Amen. Amen. This is there, we want more. Money, house, the property, everything we want, wants, wants. That wants never ends. We don't want to know Christ. We don't want to know Christ. We want just miracles. We want just money. We want just healing. We want that just to go, um, the husband. We want that boy. We want that girl. We want that child. We want just want wants. Are you anything? I don't want anything from this world. I'm not interested in anything from this world. I want to know you. I want to know more about you, oh God. I want to know more about you. Jesus. Close your eyes. अपनी आंखों को बंद करो आंखों को बंद करो मुझे कुछ नहीं चाहिए प्रभु मुझे सोना चांदी ये संसार के चीजें मुझे नहीं चाहिए मुझे सिर्फ तू चाहिए प्रभु मैं सिर्फ तुझे तेरे बारे में जानना चाहता हूं प्रभु तेरे ज्ञान में तेरे वचन में मैं बढ़ना चाहता हूं जानना मैं यीशु को जानना चाहता हूं आई वांट टू नो आई वांट टू नो अबाउट क्राच आई वांट टू नो हिम आई वांट टू नो हिम आई वांट टू आई वांट टू नो क्राच आई वांट टू नो क्राच यस Lift your both hands and sing, sing the song. Is you, Lord, is you, Lord, is you, Lord, is you. Oh, that. 
catching fish. You can imagine. He forgot everything. He left everything and he went back to his own business. You know something about Jesus, I want to tell you, listen carefully. Maybe you are gone away from Jesus. Maybe you sometimes you say, oh, after some incident take place in you, now I'm, I'm not praying more. I know I, do, I don't pray much. I don't do, you know. I stop praying. I stop reading Bible. You may go away from God. You may say that I don't love Jesus. You may say that I'm not praying now. You may say, no, I don't want to pray, pray now. I don't believe. But remember the fact, Jesus will never leave you. That is his promise. You go away from him, but he will not go away from you. You stop loving him. But he will never stop loving you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You know, you may say that I don't want Jesus, but Jesus will never say, I don't want you, my son, my daughter. No. That's the reason. The person who's denied, the person who's he failed to recognize, he said, No, I don't know anything. Jesus came to search of him at the Shisho. And Jesus asked him, do you have anything to eat? And they said, whole night we were struggling, nothing we get. And then Jesus said, put your net towards the right side. And they got fish. And the Bible said, then the Peter jumped in the water because he was unrest. No, so many things, so many things. You may say, I don't love him, but he say, I love you. You may say, I don't want him, but he say, I want you. You may say that I have I've gone far away from God, but he said, no, I am not far. I am close to you, my son, my daughter. That is his promise that he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And the Bible says the heaven and earth will pass away, but his world will never pass. What he said Amen. Amen. it is going to happen. His words never change. In the book of Malachi says he's unchanging God. His words never change. Maybe you and I, we change. We change our mind. We change our everything, you know. But he never changes. You give up. But he he Never give up on you. आप ने भले ही छोड़ दिया लेकिन वो आपको नहीं छोड़ा है। आप प्रेम नहीं करते हैं उससे चलेगा। यीशु कहता है, मैं तुमसे प्रेम करता हूँ। तुम भाग करके जाते हो यीशु से दूर, लेकिन यीशु तुम्हारे पीछे पीछे भाग के आता है और यीशु कहता है, मेरे बच्चे, तुम मुझसे भाग कर कहाँ जाओगे? अंधेरे में जाओगे तो मैं यहाँ आऊँगा, तूफान में जाओगे तो मैं तूफान में हूँ, आसमान में जाओगे तो मैं आसमान में हूँ, पानी में जाओगे तो मैं पानी में हूँ, साम 139, जहाँ भी जाओ मैं वहाँ हूँ, तुम कहीं पर भी जाओ मैं तुम्हारे साथ हूँ। Give an, let's give mighty hand to Jesus. Come on everyone, give mighty hand to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So remember, you cannot, you cannot run away. Prabhu se aap dur nahi bhaag sakte ho. Psalm 113, not 39. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Praise you, Master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So not, we are not reading that. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So as the Saint Paul is saying, Philippians chapter 3, where we was, Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. I want you to read it again, please. 
All I want is to know Christ and to experience the power of his resurrection. To share in his sufferings and become like him in his death. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All I want to know him, Christ. All I want is to know Christ. To know Christ. And to experience the power. Yes. Yes. The experience the power of his resurrection. Of his resurrection. Lift your hand and say, the power of his resurrection. The power of his resurrection. Come on, say three times from wherever you are. Come on, lift your hand and say, the power the, of the power of his resurrection. The power of his resurrection. The power of his resurrection. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, you, you have understood here what St. Paul is trying to say. He's saying, first, I want to know him. You know, without knowing him, you will not able to experience his power. Amen. Number one. Unke Pundratan ke Samat ka Anubhav karu number two. Or the Mirkyu me unke Satris Banikar number three. Unke Tutbhok ka Sahibhagi Banja. Amen. Amen. Until unless you know him, everything start with here. Can you say, can you say you, uh, that you love some stranger whom you don't know? Amen. Amen. Until unless you know someone, then only you will be able to love him. Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, until unless you know him, how you will love him? How you can experience his power? The first to experience the resurrection power in your life, listen carefully. The experience, the resurrection power in your life, daily life, number one, you have to know him. You have to know him. I just told you about me. I was running. I was running wherever people used to say, here there is prayer, there is prayer. I used to run, I used to go. In Mumbai from Virat to Mumbai Central, from wherever, you know, I used to run here and there. I wanted to know him, know him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as the sister told you, how you will know him? When you will hear about him. When you will hear about him. When you will hear the word of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the Roman 10, 17, the faith comes by hearing. The hearing, the hearing, the message. Amen. Your faith will increase. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How you will know Christ when you spend your time. You know that uh, you know there are many schools. There are the the theology, philosophy, all so many things. But there is no nowhere, you know. Jesus never said that I will open the theology school philosophy. No, Jesus said only one thing. In Gospel of St. John 14, you know, 14, 15 and 16. All this chapter, if you read, it is says, thank you, Jesus. Yes, 14, 26, can you read, sister? 1426 the helper the holy spirit listen carefully huh? the helper the holy spirit yes whom the father will send in my name will teach you everything and make you remember all that i have told you amen you know many times we think that okay i have done the word ministry that is enough yeah okay good I'm not saying you should not do the theology. I'm not saying you are you should not do not do the word ministry. Yes, you should do. Nothing bad in that. What the Bible says. Can you read sister once again? 
the helper the helper the holy spirit the holy spirit now listen carefully helper lift your hands say helper helper you know without helper you will not able to do anything the holy spirit is our helper amen holy spirit is your helper even to do the word ministry to understand the word you need helper even when you are doing theology to understand you need helper even when you are reading your bible daily to understand the word you need helper Amen. many time you read but you don't understand many time you hear preaching but goes from your head you cannot understand Amen. You need helper. Yes, sister. Can you read? The helper. The helper. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Amen. Amen. So, who is your teacher? Hallelujah. 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 No one can teach you better than the Holy Spirit, the helper whom God has given us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Number one. To know him, you need helper. to know jesus you need help because he said he said can you read sister the helper the helper the holy spirit yes whom the father will send in my name the father will send in my name will teach you everything will teach you everything hallelujah who will teach you the holy spirit will teach you everything Yes and make you remember and make you remember all that I have Hallelujah. told you. You know many time many people doesn't remember. You read word of God but you don't remember. You want to try, you you try to make by heart but you cannot. You have to pray, read every day the scripture. Every day 50 time you read, 100 time you read the scripture. Amen. Amen. God will give you the good memory. God will bless your memory power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So whenever you are reading Bible before opening your Bible pray to the Holy Spirit. When you are sitting for your personal prayer, you know, every day you have to know him. What is the meaning of what is what does the meaning say? The St. Paul says, I want to know him. You know? what he mean to say he mean to say every day every time every moment i want to know him i want to come close to him i want to walk with him i want to experience his resurrection power every time every moment in my life when you are walking when you are sitting and you are walking in the office either you are traveling either you are riding either you are driving every time we should experience the resurrection power in us amen 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 you know in the christianity if there is no resurrection today i would have not uh, i was not here to preach the word of god no in christianity the death and the resurrection the whole bible it is on this two ways death of jesus on the cross and the resurrection he died he said it is finished the first chapter he finished he said finished and he rose again to give us to make everything new amen. amen to make us new that's the reason saint paul again and again says we should renew ourselves we should uh, change our heart mind amen, amen. we should uh, we should change the way we what we are thinking the way we are speaking the way we are living everything should become new the resurrection power will make you new Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give my hand to Jesus. Come on everyone.
Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Praise you, Master. Praise you, Master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I read, Sister? Everything, chapter one. Before that, can we go to the Roman chapter eight? Roman chapter eight was eleven. Roman eight eleven. Yes. Yeah. If the spirit of God Listen carefully. If the spirit of God who raised Jesus from death who raised Jesus from death lives in you lives in you then then he who raised Christ from death will also give life to your mortal bodies by the presence of his spirit in you in this in this scripture there is good friday and there is easter sunday both the meanings are there in the scripture amen amen as i told you in the beginning many times we don't know him that's the reason we don't know christ that's the reason we don't have the experience of this resurrection power. We feel okay once in a year there is resurrection, Easter Sunday. Once in a year there is Good Friday and Easter Sunday, okay. But I told you, when you know him, you will experience every day, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, every day in your life you will experience. Amen. And until unless, till that if you are not experiencing, remember you don't, you don't know him. Till now you don't know him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now here, in Hindi says, my Hindi me patao dhyan se suniye. Jisne Yeshu ko mrtakon me se jilaya. How many of you know? किसने यीशु को मृतकों में से जलाया यीशु मृतकों में से कैसे जिंदा हो गए कैसे जीवित हो गए एमएन कैन रीड इट सिस्टर इफ द स्पिरिट ऑफ गॉड इफ द स्पिरिट ऑफ गॉड लिफ्ट योर हैंड लिफ्ट योर हैंड Lift your hand and say the spirit of God. The, the spirit, spirit of, of God. God. Come the on, spirit say, of God. say the spirit of God. The spirit of God. The spirit of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Who raised Jesus from death? Hallelujah. Who raised Jesus from death? Spirit of God. The spirit of God. What is the spirit of God? The spirit of God is the power of God. And what is the power of God? The power of God is the one and only the helper, which I read sometime back, John fourteen twenty six. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus performed miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the reason he said, Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news. He cast out demon by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He did miracles, so many miracles, even all that miracles are not recorded in the Bible by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everything he did by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's from beginning, he was born by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And he was risen by the power of the, the, power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 In, in Christianity, everything is matter about the power, the power, the power, the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nothing else. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 On this, maybe some some other time, maybe I will teach you about this. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. 
Can you read it, sister? If the Spirit of God, if the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from death, who raised Jesus from death, lives in you, yes, lives in you. The Saint Paul is saying, lives in you. ये बहुत अच्छा लगता है मुझे. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus, Jesus, Jesus from the death lives in you. You know what the Bible, we, what we say? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth. And what we say? Third day He rose again. He seated at the right hand of the Father. We say that, right? Third day. He rose again. He he rose again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The, the the meaning is that the power of darkness could not hold him. Amen. The power of darkness could not keep him in the grave. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he rose again from the dead. If the same spirit lives in you, my dear brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, and the Psalm 91 says that you will trample down the lions and snakes, the fierce lions and poisonous snakes. Yes! By the power, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the resurrection power, you will trample down the lions and the snakes. Amen. 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 That power, the resurrection power, the simple word, the power of the Holy Ghost lives in you, then then he who raised Christ from death. He who raised Christ from death will also give life to your mortal bodies. Will also give life. This is this talk, this is talking about your physical healing you know mortal body there are two types of body you know one physical body and one spiritual body physical body lift your hand and say physical body physical body and spiritual body and spiritual body amen amen hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah so this is talking about the physical body Amen. Amen. Yes. We'll also give life to your mortal bodies mortal by the body. by the presence of His Spirit in you. Amen. Let's give mighty hand to Jesus. Mighty hand to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a wonderful God we serve, Amen. my dear brothers and sisters. And as I told you, just one thing, to know Him, to know Him at any cost, to know Jesus. Where you will know Him, you will start loving Him. When you will start loving Him, you will start experiencing His power the power of love in yourself. The Holy Spirit, the Helper, will help you to know Him. He will teach you everything. He will help you how to pray. He will help you to, He will make you understand the Word of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Open your hands. Close your eyes. Right now, the Lord is touching. Many of you are having eye problems. The Lord is touching and healing your eyes. 
Many of you will not see from your clearly. The Lord is touching and healing your eyes. Thank you, Lord. I can see one sister, he was, doctor, I have told you, you have to operate your eyes. But right now I can see the resurrection power is coming upon you. The Lord is touching your eyes. You no need to go for operation. When you will go to the doctor, doctor will tell you, you no need operation. You are well. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the healing. Lord is touching somebody having spinal cord. Some problem is there in your spinal cord. The Lord is touching and healing you right now. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the healing. Thank you, thank you. Thank I can see some people are praying for, uh, you was praying for a hair, you, you had a bad hair fall. I can see the Lord is touching your head. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No more, no more hair fall. No more, more hair fall in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Somebody is praying for a job. Your job is on the way. Thank you, Lord. Your job is on the way. Thank the you, Lord. Is Jesus, your Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Lord is healing somebody's piles, piles problem. Lord is healing right now. Your piles problem is going from you right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the healing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Some people is having cold and fever. Cold and fever. You are worried that the virus, Lord is touching and healing. Your cold, your fever is going out right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord is healing somebody's headache. Always used to get headache. Always used to get headache. Lord is touching and healing right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the healing. There are three couples you are watching right now. The Lord is telling them to forgive each other. Forgive each other. Whatever happened, let's forget it. Forgive each other. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's give my hand to Jesus. Come on, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just I will take you five minutes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen carefully the announcements. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, many time, many time, when the time comes for the announcement, we, we try to switch off, we try to go here and there. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Even this is the time to sow your seed. This is the time to sow your seed. Yes, You know, Parmeshwar is Samay Aapse Baat Karega. Amen. The Lord is going to speak to you to sow your seed, to help in His kingdom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know why? Why, Lord? Why? We, we, many times we pray, Lord, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless my finance, bless me with a job, bless me. You know why God will bless you if you are not ready to be reason for blessing to others. Amen. You should be a channel of blessings to others. God blesses you so that you can be a blessing to others. Amen. Make me a blessing, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I encourage you. Amen. Amen. To come forward to help for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 If the Lord is speaking to you, Amen. Amen. Those who wants to help in the kingdom of God, those who wants to sow a seed, Amen. Amen. So all details are given on my Facebook page. Amen. Amen. Even those who are um, joined with me on WhatsApp, all the details are given on the status, my WhatsApp status. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to pay via Google Pay, my office number is on Google Pay number. You can pay via Google Pay. I can give you the number, the 915814615. Once again, I will repeat, 915814615. This is the office number and this is the Google Pay number, UPI, you can pay through this number. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to thank all my benefactors, well we saw those who have, those who are helping. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah for Hallelujah. the glory of God. May God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. May your bonds will overflow. Amen. Always. Amen. In Jesus' name. I receive Hallelujah. I receive Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there is miracle hour number. Miracle hour is the time. Sometimes I have seen the people call all the possible number, you know. Before that prayer, miracle hour number was there 11 to 12. Sometimes people used to call 12 o'clock in the night. 11 o'clock in the night. Amen. Amen. Now also, now the miracle hour timing is changed. Still people, sometimes they call 11 o'clock, uh, morning 11 o'clock. That shows that you don't attend the retreat, you don't listen, uh, announcement carefully. Amen. The Amen. miracle hour is time is changed now, um, more than a month. It is evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Amen. Amen. Monday to Friday, but Thursday, the miracle hour is not there because of the women's conference. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave your hand and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, wave your hand and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, miracle hour in number is uh, 7588 454 321. This is the miracle hour number to talk to me. When you will call, I will receive your call and I will pray for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Regarding the WhatsApp, you know, uh, I pray all those who are connected with me through social media platform, those who are in my WhatsApp or Facebook or YouTube. Amen. Amen. I am having many different WhatsApp group and people from all over the world they have joined the whatsapp group amen amen hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you jesus thank you jesus. praise you jesus praise you hallelujah. Jesus. hallelujah and every day i post the living word the testimony and many other information regarding the ministry amen, amen. so if you have not joined my whatsapp group i request you if you are ready to receive every day the living word amen and ready to read not only to get to read every day, then only you can send your message on my WhatsApp, write your name, your place, and write add me and send on my WhatsApp number. Again, I will repeat, my WhatsApp number is 7507316806. This is my WhatsApp number. Amen? Amen. You can send as i told you in the beginning you can send your testimony today's whatever lord has done in your life lord has touched many of you many of you are healed physically spiritually amen, amen. many of you got peace many of you have healed from inner wound amen amen write your testimony send your testimony on this whatsapp number Amen. Amen. Same number, even if you can, your prayer request, anytime if you want to send your prayer request, you can send on this WhatsApp number. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 If you have not yet subscribed my YouTube channel, I request you to subscribe my YouTube channel, Bro Mario Goa. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So that your name will be added in my prayer list. Hallelujah. All of you please stand. All of you please stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. As you know that every Thursday is a special retreat for women. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is women's conference every Thursday. So don't miss the women's conference uh, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m one hour amen? amen and every sunday is the healing deliverance the regular retreat amen. amen hallelujah i thank all my dear brothers and sisters 
those who are sharing this retreats regarding this retreats on your social media platform amen and may god bless you may the lord give you reward for this work of evangelization amen, amen. hallelujah Hallelujah. we are praying for each one of you all those who are joining every thursday every sunday in this live retreat online retreat we are praying for you your family always amen, amen. and i request you keep me jesus for our ministry all my team members Amen. Amen. In your prayer. Amen. Amen. Pray for Sister Janet. Pray for Adriel. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give mighty hand to Jesus. Come on. Jor se Yesu ke liye taali bajate Prabhu ko dhanyavaad dijiye. Hallelujah. 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 For any other information, always you are welcome to contact my office. Even the office number, as I told you, nine one five eight one four six. One one five, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For a final blessing, you can call whoever wants final blessing. You can call your children, whoever it can be. Take the blessed oil, blessed oil. As I say always, every Sunday to sit with the miracle oil. Amen. Amen. As you know, Jesus through Jesus Power Ministry Miracle Oil, thousands of people are healed, blessed, delivered. We get so many testimony. And even this blessed oil we send in India, we send via courier. So all those who wants this blessed oil, miracle oil from Jesus Power Ministry, you can send your details either on my office number, either on my WhatsApp. Amen. So we'll send you how you will get the blessed oil. Amen. Amen. So take the blessed oil, anoint yourself, and anoint all those who are standing with you in prayer. your head close your eyes for God's blessing may almighty God bless each one of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let's give mighty hand to Jesus. Come on, clap your hands and give glory to Jesus. Clap your hands and give glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all. Praise the Lord.